Education in India has undergone a massive transformation in the past decade. From chalkboards to smartboards and from classrooms to cloud-based learning. EdTech in India has moved from being a supplementary tool to becoming a core enabler of education. At the heart of this evolution is a new wave of innovation where AI, data and empathy are coming together to personalize learning like never before. And today, we are in conversation with Ujwal Singh, founding CEO of Infinity Learn by Sri Chaitanya, a brand that's making bold moves in the hybrid learning space. Infinity Learn is creating a future where technology doesn't just scale learning, it strengthens it. What led to the creation of Infinity Learn and what were the core problems that you were aiming to solve uh, in India's education system? We have largely looked at access of good education uh, through the help of technology and spreading across the country. When we started, there were more than 8,000 edtechs in India. And uh, the question which I've always asked, why, why one more edtech? Uh, what was the need for that? We said, how can we take the word outcomes along with edtech? So if you're teaching somebody, whether you're teaching online or offline, you're responsible for that improvement in the learner's life. That change has to happen because we serve in the area of math and science from grade 6 to grade 12, largely focused on JE and NEET. These are two largest benchmark exams after grade 12. If our children are not doing in these exams very well, it's not possible for us to remain as an ed tech. So I think affordability, accessibility was anywhere there. We took outcomes and we built the three pillars for the organization. I've spent around 26 years in education now. It's a credibility-based business. It happens over the years. You're doing good business. And good business is giving good learning, making the children win. I think we have done that. And there are a few organizations definitely would have done alongside this journey. And if you look around, the companies which are sustained longer in this journey, they all are doing good. On the learner side, much interesting thing has happened. After COVID, uh, a basic inhibitions of saying that whether digital learning can impact or not is gone. Learner has moved on digital devices, they have become a digital natives and they have become a digital learners. That's the best thing which has happened in the last four or five years is that industry side, sanity has, is coming, has come to a large extent, but outside the actual consumer, not the customer, parents may still think differently, but the consumers are digital natives. You are launching a new product called Aina, which is an AI-enabled, uh, you know, powered mentor. And how is it sort of going to align with your goals of uh, personalized and outcome-driven education? I, I actually didn't think maybe three, four years, five years back that education will be the early stage impact companies of AI. It was 2022, 23, I was in US uh, for a tour and seeing that what's happening globally. Uh, we had incubated this business and I came so restless, so restless. We need to do something about it. And this is like a product tech team. Eight of us sat and said, we need to reorganize ourselves. The way we are working is not good enough. Uh, we, are, we are still working on very hygiene kind of things. And we wanted to see that how do we balance something which is happening for hygiene and a little bit of development, but also start putting the right, uh, you know, models around the AI. The end purpose was that can the learner be more intelligent? Can he learn better and faster? And with that problem statement, we built the foundation with this time. They said, now we need to build Aina. And last six, seven months, we have really worked hard really worked hard to make the learner win. I am Aina, your academic mentor at Infinity Learn. Always here to support and guide you in learning. I'm excited to welcome you at AI Infinity Vision 2025. Aina is that mentor 
I'm, I'm so thrilled to talk about it, you know, because a lot of sweat and hard work and nights have gone to, to put the right card rails, trying to find a, a, actually a mentor who is uh, have fine balance between uh, like a buddy didi uh, or a bhaiya uh, who is I can be friendly with. I'm not friends. I can be friendly with and when he or she is teaching, I understand. So it's a simple language. I think those were the concerns for us. Aina offers a mix of doubt solving, performance tracking and mentoring. So how do these features sort of work together uh, to offer a complete learning experience to your learners? Uh, so how do you correlate learning? It is not a standalone uh, incident. I ask a question, you answer a question and the journey gets over. I think the second piece is largely which I keep talking about, which is Aina's biggest advantage is the mentor. And as a mentor, you know all of my data because all my exams are there, the number of hours I have done classes, everything is part of, part of the Aina universe. And Aina is tracking and saying that if you're not done very well on this topic, subtopic, because you have never seen a video or you have never done a practice test or you have never actually looked at the, you know, uh, cards to say that how do, how do these things will stack up. So you have not learned, but you have just jumped into examination. And if you have not performed, nothing to feel bad about. Go back and let's just see these three things and come back and we can take this test. Last 18 years, hardcore data. So every question, performance and JE topper. After the he became a topper, we go back and see how did he perform in 11th grade, fourth exam. Oh, his marks went drop here, then he went up. So all of the data we fed into the uh, LLM slowly and gradually trying to create that level of preciseness. I think uh, two people, I think I'll always mention. One, the team worked with Google. Uh, so Google is our partner in this journey. Uh, and then we work with IIIT on the research side. So we involved academia. That's the joint effort through which Aina's birth has happened. What are the guardrails that uh, you've kept uh, in place so that Aina is focused, uh, you know, on mentorship and academics? For us, learner safety is one of the topmost things. But the difference in our ethical AI or responsible AI is that the context is all in the environment. So the universe is built by us for the learner and the learner can actually hop on hop off to the same universe. As soon as the learner wants to go outside the zone of learning, he is stopped. If you ask Aina, saying that, hey, Aina, which is the best movie nowadays in the movie walls? Aina says, great question, but you know, uh, let's focus on your surface tension questions because you haven't done well. And I must tell you that this is a discussion for your parents to have with you. So as soon as you go outside the realm of academics, Aina will bring you back. How do you plan to sort of expand uh, Aina going forward? What What is next uh, on your product map? Presently, what we are doing it to only our online learners, we are bringing Aina to. But give and take, we work with 10,000 schools in the country. Uh, we will see that if Aina can be expanded and reaching out to schools. We equally work with large set of students in the uh, social sector and where our products are used usually. And there are some government contracts we are discussing. We'll see that if Aina can impact. Uh, you know, Today's day AI, even though it looks from a distance, is, is trying to cheaper, but if you really do a conversational AI, it's relatively costly. But we are thinking that as the time passes by, the conversational AI will be relatively cheaper. And that can be a game changer. Because when you are having a conversation with AI, and uh, it is about uh, not only math and science, but in the realm of education saying that, okay, can I go to social studies while I'm learning English? Or can I go to English while I'm learning math? So when I'm decoding a question, is there a grammar involved into this or an adjective which I don't understand? And stuff like that. I think that's where the model will go faster. 
because there are a lot of learners who are struggling in math because of English. AI can simplify that question itself first and say, okay, there is an off written in this question which means multiplication. So, you have to multiply your first level of help. Then I say, well, now I know how to do. Okay, and then I know that, okay, off is multiplication. And slowly and gradually, I think uh, AI becomes my second level help, third level help, fourth level help. So, I think because AI is doing so well in language per se, I think with math and science and language coming in will be a great new thing for us to work on. Right. You know, finally to wrap, you know, I wanted to ask you, what would you say to educators um, and policy makers who are still sort of skeptical or cautious uh, about adopting AI in mainstream education? Our job is to help the teacher to perform more teaching rather than doing maybe mundane work and make the teacher far more intelligent. It's just like any other technology which has come in past. If you, if you like it, if you, you know, in a way control it, it is going to serve for you. When I see NEP 2020, I think there are a lot of foundational AI skills are getting embedded in that. Uh, I think government that way is far more pro AI than uh, anti-AI and government thinks there is a great value for learners early stage learning AI for their own benefits. Whether we like it or not, it is here. Now the faster we adopt it for our own benefit, the better it is. I think policy makers, government is very pro. Uh, there are 20-30% educators who are very pro and they have started using it. The middle segment of the society is just gearing up to use it. How long can we resist that? Thank you so much for speaking to us and you know sharing uh, these fantastic insights. We look forward to how uh, Aina disrupts uh, outcome-based learning and how AI sort of uh, reshapes the future uh, in education. You know, thank you so much for inviting me and giving the opportunity to talk about Aina. You know, I would love uh, your viewers to download the app and experience Aina and if there's any feedback for us, particularly students who are preparing for JE NEET or taking help in math and science, uh, I think uh, I'm very, very happy with what we have built. So we we'll love to hear from your viewers. With innovation like Aina, Infinity Learn is building a future where technology and teachers can work hand in hand to empower every student. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the future of learning. For more such stories on innovation, disruption, technology and startups, keep tuning to your story.